Hello, I'm Carl and welcome to the Straw Bite Workshop. Today we're going to be making some DIY acoustic panels. So I bought these flags for the workshop. The idea was to make the place look a bit nicer. I've got this sound insulation. It's left over from a project and I've been thinking about what I can use it for for a little while. I have these pine slats, uh, they're from an old bed and are in pretty decent shape. I think we can make some acoustic frames. These bed slats are in good condition but need the staples removed. So I start by ripping down the bed slats to a little over 60 millimeters. And then I take them to the mitre saw and cut them to length. I have a cutting guide for each of the flags all slightly different and I want the frames to fit. So it's back to the table saw where I set the saw to 50 millimeters. Then each piece is ripped to its final dimensions. So there's no fancy joints here, simple butt joints glued and stapled. So with the three frames complete, we can get started with making up each of the sound panels. So I first mark out where I want to cut and then this material can be cut easily with scissors. So the acoustic insulation is a good friction fit inside each frame. And then the flags can be laid out on top and stapled into place. So I now use the offcuts left over from ripping the slats down to 50 millimeters as a means of clamping the flags to the frame and to provide a little uh, design detail. It looks a lot more like a picture frame rather than a flag nailed to a bit of wood. So there we go, the flag for Bedfordshire, Northamptonshire and obviously the United Kingdom. So I measure out to fix some little brass plates for mounting the frames to the wall. Now I'm using these Bosch bits, they're fantastic actually. You don't need a hammer action for drilling into um, mortar or brick. And so I set about uh, drilling the holes for the plugs and screws. So that's it, first flag up, two more to do. And the project's complete. Okay, so a pretty simple project, uh, nothing too fancy about the frames, uh, clamping um, the flags between a strip and the frame itself, I think has worked quite nicely. There's a little bit of overhang, but we'll sort that out. Um, another time. Uh, I still need to decide whether I'm actually going to paint um, anything inside the workshop. Everything at the moment is just like a bare wood colour. Um, I'm thinking I might go for white or grey. Don't know. We'll see all about that a bit later. But has this improved the acoustics? So uh, we'll use a clapper board as a signal and uh, 
First we'll do the before, so I'll take all of this down. And then we'll do the after. So here we go. And uh, let's have a look at this on the computer and see if there is any difference at all. So I don't think looking at the waveforms on the computer was all that conclusive. You could hear the two sounds. They sounded a little different. I'm not necessarily sure that the quality of the audio was improved by the sound absorption panels um, in, in that clip. But certainly standing here right now, listening to my voice in this space, the space sounds different. And I'm hoping that comes across uh, in the audio recording off the camera. Um, so... I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you've got any comments, like for example, if you've noticed any difference between the two sounds, then I'd appreciate uh, you leaving a comment below. And of course, if you're not a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button. That really does help me out. But from me in the workshop for now, cheerio.